Welcome back to Teardown. Now, we've seen Bloop, and we've seen Dark Bloop. Both absolutely ginormous monsters, but we haven't seen Space Bloop. Which is why I've gone ahead and got this rocket right here. Because that's right, we are going to space to hunt down this monster. Possibly the largest sea creature. Well, actually, it's not really a sea creature anymore, is it? Because it's in space. It's a space monster. Oh, yeah. Just ignore the Kraken. Um, it tried to attack me, and I killed it. So now I'm using it as treasure. Also, I don't know why we needed a giant boat like this, a ship to put a rocket on and then to go to space is probably really, really unsafe. But anyway, we're going to bring beans with us as backup as always. Okay, so with beans, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get my cable. I'm just going to put him right there. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go to space. Oh, I'm going through. Quick. Oh, I went through the ship. We've, we've got to hurry up. Also, the Megalodon shark is just watching us right now. All right, let's go. Let's go find Space Bloop if he really does exist. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited to see this monster and experiment with him. And, you know, possibly feed the guy some astronauts because in the rocket right now, we do actually have some astronaut ragdolls. Oh, look at the Earth. Whoa, whoa, we're going really fast. We need to slow down right now. Okay, does anyone see Space Bloop? But is, wait, is Beans okay? Is Beans still on the cable? I can't really tell right now. Oh, look at this. We can select what planet we want to go to. Although the moon is technically not a planet, right? Should we go Mars? I reckon Space Bloop is probably around Mars somewhere, right? Do we just click? How do we select location? Here we go. Oh, we're going down. Wait, what? I think we're landing on Mars. Oh, we're coming in hot. Slow down. Jeez. Okay, Space Bloop could be somewhere on Mars. Potentially, right? Let's have a little look around. Where's Beans? Oh, no. Um, that's <laughs> that's not a good sign. We, we might have lost Beans somewhere in space. So I'll try and find Beans in another time. <laughs> oh, no. Beans. <laughs> okay, you know what? Bloop clearly is not here. We really do need to go into space. All right, here we go again. But now in space, right? Reduce the speed. Speed. All right, we're in the rocket. We're in space. I think it's time we head out. Oh my goodness. There it is. Space Bloop. Yes. Okay, do you reckon I can catch it with my physics gun? Come on, come here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, look at the size of this monster. This thing is ginormous. It looks so cool. Whoa. Oh, it's so bright. The sun. So it's basically Bloop with all these colors on it. The blue lights. I don't know what that's about. It looks really awesome. Oh, wait. What, what's inside his mouth? Is that like a black hole or something? What's that about? Oh, it's so bright. All right. That is kind of terrifying. Right. Where's the astronaut? We need to do some tests. There's the rocket. We're just going to fly a little closer to Bloop. Oh, uh... I've overshot it. Oh, no. Uh, I think we're going to need a new ragdoll. <laughs> right, we have a new ragdoll, an astronaut right here. We're about to feed it to Space Bloop. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, in you go. Oh, oh, you can barely see him because of like how bright it is in there. I think he's okay. Wow, he actually seems all right. Don't go into the light, whatever you do. That's its stomach, I'm pretty sure. Now, luckily, we have plenty of astronauts to go around. So, uh, in you go, buddy. Oh, Ooh. Oh, no. I wonder if Bloop likes the taste of these ragdolls. I'm really not too sure. And you know what? At the end of this video, I'm going to go into Space Bloop's mouth. I'm going to see what it's like inside there. Right now, I'm kind of scared. Oh, no. Sorry, buddy. Now, I know this might be a terrible idea, but my rocket, I'm going to try and feed it to this monster. Who knows? Maybe Bloop might enjoy it. I don't know. Here we go. Have the rocket. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad idea. All right, we should probably uh, move to another location. Let's go close to planets. Maybe we can feed this guy planets. Yeah, who knows? So welcome back to Space Sandbox. Here we have Space Bloop once again. Oh, and we also have Beans. Beans, you're back. Yay, you just stay on this planet right here. Okay, you, you go down there and just stay there where it's safe, all right? So we've also got these international space stations right here which also have ragdolls on them. They're just kind of like watching, uh, looking at the monster come towards them. So, uh, Bloop, if you're hungry, go ahead and eat them. Yes, lovely. Oh, I heard the ragdoll crunch just then. Is he in there? I think it's... Oh, no, there he is. Look at that. He's been eaten alive. Oh, um, oh, we're crashing into another planet. Wow, this map is so cool. Wait, look at the size of these planets. They're so tidy. Go ahead and eat them. That's it. Bloop is just going to eat absolutely everything. Whoa, he's freaking out a little bit. 
Calm down. Chill out, Blue. He's making a real mess of this place. Now, I do wonder, is it possible to actually kill this guy? I mean, right now, I'm having way too much fun just uh, making him eat everything. But you know what? Later on, I will try and kill this guy. Just see what we can do with him. Wow. Look at the state of this place. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, planet Earth. Be careful. And when I say be careful, I mean just go ahead and eat it because uh, it's fun to watch. All right. Enjoy. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? That's it. Eat the earth. Could you imagine how terrifying this is? Just a giant space monster eating our planet. <laughs> that is something you don't want to see. Whoa. He's taking a massive chunk out of that. Look at that. Well, I think it's fair to say planet earth is uh, completely destroyed. Earth debris everywhere. Space Bloop now has his eyes on a much smaller planet Earth right here. And on top of this one is an astronaut. This poor guy is about to be eaten alive by the huge monster. All right, here we go. Let's just bring it closer. Look out, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine how terrifying that would be? Oh, Oh, no. Oh, and he hit what looks to be the moon on the way up. He might still be alive, though. Let's go check up on him. Maybe I can catch him. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Is he okay? He's injured, but he's still alive. But here comes Bloop, probably to finish the job. Yep, I think I think that did it. <laughs> right, we must get our revenge. So um, as you can see over here, there's a bunch of weapons for us to select. We've got a hammer, swords, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, maybe I should just pick up this stuff. And see what kind of damage I could do to this beast. First, let's go ahead and throw the sword at this guy. Um, yep. Well, that did nothing. Let's go for a much larger sword. All right, here we go. Sorry, bloop. It's got to be done. Man, this guy is really hard to kill. I, I really don't think the sword's going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing so much damage to all the planets right now. Okay, let's try the hammer instead. Right, we'll go for the big hammer. And now this should do the trick, right? <clears throat> nope, nothing. Yeah, I really don't think this is going to do anything to him. But you know what? I have had an idea. What if we bring this guy back down to planet Earth? Not that one, of course, because that's destroyed. That's just a mini version. And um, see if he survives that. So let's go. So here we are, back on Earth. And uh, yep, yeah, Space Bloop is right here in the air. We've also got a bunch of ragdolls on our brand new cargo ship, including beans right here. Um, this is regular bloop, by the way. So, yeah, I think space bloop is actually a lot larger. And, of course, a little more scary looking. So, I say we see what kind of damage these monsters can do. Let's get a closer look at regular old bloop. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's done a little bit of damage to the boat, but who cares? Okay, buddy. Um, Bloop here is actually kind of hungry. So if you want to just go ahead and jump in there, that's it. All right, let's feed lots of ragdolls. Oh, look, we have astronauts over here. In you go. That's it. He's so hungry right now. I mean, they do require a lot of food, these guys. Do I? No, no, we shouldn't do that to beans. <gasps> beans. Don't worry. Sorry. Sorry. You know what? Maybe Space Bloop wants this guy. There you go. Enjoy. And also this guy. Oh. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> kind of missed that one. You know what? How about the entire fishing boat? Let's try and feed it to Space Bloop. Oh, the ragdolls fell out. That's fine. Okay. And in you go. That's it. Lovely. Wow. And just like that, it's gone. Should we try to see like a size comparison between Space Bloop and regular Bloop right here? Here we go. Face to face. I think they actually might be the same size. Slightly crushing my boat, but that's fine. So let's see. Come on, just a little closer. Oh, no. Space Bloop is actually quite a bit larger. Look at that. Whoa. Space Bloop is massive in comparison. I couldn't really tell when they were in the water. I think Space Bloop might be the same size as Dark Bloop. Now, there's only one way to find out, and that is to catch Dark Bloop. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, that was easy. Right. Bring him out of the ocean and then put him next to this guy right here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think, yes, they're the same size. Regular Bloop, you are nothing anymore. No way. So many Bloops. Okay, Dark Bloop. Thanks for the size comparison. You can go back. In fact, you can uh, take a bite of my cargo ship if you want. You know, if you're hungry. There you go. Okay, no more. Otherwise, we will sink. We can't be having that, right? Get back down. That's it. Wait, actually, will my ship sink if I release Bloop? I just drop him. Oh. Okay, so far, so good. Uh, okay, I think we're fine. Let me just go ahead and just put him back into the ocean. Come on. Off you go. Oh, no, look out. <gasps> Oh, I did not mean for that. Oh, it doesn't look too good. I'm going to fly over, check it out. Oh, oh, he got crushed. No, his head. His head is gone. I'm oh, sorry. All right, might as well take it down with you. There you go. All right, 
Now, I say we completely destroy Space Blue. At least we try to anyway. You know, of course, the hammer and everything like that didn't quite work out. So let's bring him closer to my boat. Um, This might be a little bit too close. Right, ignore the fact that my boat is slowly sinking. I'm sure everything will be fine. But let's go ahead and try and destroy this guy. Starting off with a katana. Here we go. Slice through his head. Is this going to work? We're starting off with a very powerful mod here. But it looks like it's done nothing. Really? Yep. It did nothing. All right, my lightsaber. Here we go. Yeah. Die. Come on. Again, not doing anything. How? How is he so powerful? How is he doing this? Is there any way to kill this guy? Right, I'm on top of Bloop. Let's try the Enforcer. Come on. Explosive rounds as well. Again, no damage. Can Bloop be damaged? Yeah, see, it's pretty easy to damage Bloop. Here's all his flesh right here. I'm sending in an airstrike. Beans, I don't know where you are, but I'm sure you'll be fine as always. Here we go. Here comes the airstrike right on top of Space Bloop. Die, monster. Oh, no. Uh, well, there goes my cargo ship. <laughs> it's going down. No. All right. We need something a little bit better. What about mother of all bombs? Sure. Basically a nuke, right? Here we go. Boom. <gasps> oh, okay. Might have been a little bit too close for that one. He looks angry now. Okay, so I've got another nuke. Uh, this is a mini nuke right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch it straight into his mouth. Just see if that works. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, um, is that debris from his mouth? D do I go in? He just won't die. Everything I do, he just won't die. But I'm being drawn into the light right now. I, I really don't know what happens if we go in there. I'm kind of worried. Right, let me try one more thing before I enter Space Bloop's mouth. We've got the nuclear strike, a different kind of nuke. So here we go. I'm in the plane. Man, look at the state of this place. Okay, let's aim for his mouth. We got a good shot. And fire. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's done nothing though. Absolutely nothing. Okay, wait, what if I aim for a different part of his body? Like right here. Has, did, did that do anything? The tail maybe? Maybe that's the key? Seriously? How do we take this guy down? <laughs> is it even possible? Because right now it doesn't seem like it is. Okay, there's only one more thing for me to do and that's to enter Space Bloop's mouth and enter the light. All right, here we go. Nice and slow. It's really dark in here other than this giant light. But when you look around, look at that. Really scary. All right, so bright. When you look right here, though. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Wish me luck. <sighs> uh, subscribe.